A Kentucky man is recovering this morning from second-degree burns after he says an electronic cigarette battery exploded right in his pocket. Surveillance video captured the very frightening moment on Saturday at a gas station. Benita Nyer, Benita Nyer is here to show us why the devices may be lighting up. Benita, scary stuff. Good morning. Yes, good morning. This latest incident caught on tape is raising new concerns about the multi-billion dollar e-cigarette industry, especially when it comes to the devices, batteries. Surveillance footage captured the moment Josh Hamilton's pants suddenly burst into flames at a Kentucky gas station. He runs outside, struggling to ditch his clothes before a man douses him with a fire extinguisher. Hamilton posted on Facebook, just had an e-cig battery blow up and catch fire inside my pocket. Ouch. It's the latest incident linked to electronic vaporizers across the country. There's an alternative to smoking cigarettes. Supposed to be a safer and a healthier way of doing it. Evan Spallinger was placed in a medically induced coma for three days at a Miami hospital after he says an e cigarette blew up in his mouth in October. And earlier this week, an Ohio Fire Department issued a warning on its Facebook page after a rechargeable e cigarette battery apparently exploded inside the pocket of a victim's lab coat. The U.S. Fire Administration says people reported more than two dozen incidents of explosions and fires caused by e-cigarettes between 2009 and 2014. It has the same uh, fuel capability as gasoline. Many are linked to the vaporizer's lithium-ion battery. Overcharging, manufacturing defects and punctures can cause it to overheat, triggering an explosion. <laughs> Those lithium ion batteries are the same type found in many hoverboards, which have also been criticized for catching fire. In terms of the actual product itself, where you know this is the cell chemistry that you use, you are comparing apples to apples between uh, what happens in the hoverboard and what happens in an e-cigarette. But vaping advocates maintain that reports of explosions from e-cigarettes are rare. In a statement, the American Vaping Association said when charged and used under proper conditions, vapor product batteries pose no more of a fire risk than similar lithium-ion batteries that are used in cell phones and laptops. The Food and Drug Administration does not regulate e-cigarettes. Industry advocates say users should always use compatible batteries and chargers and avoid battery contact with metal objects such as coins, keys, or jewelry, basically the things we all have in our pockets. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, other than that, yeah. Other than that, important You're warning. Okay. Thank you, Vanita. Yeah.